This is Heather with Jenkins CPA. So how are you gonna pick your tax preparer this year? What factors are you gonna look at? What are we gonna do differently in our firm than you can get somewhere else or that you can do yourself, right? That's the question you're asking right now. Where am I gonna go and why am I gonna go there? So let me tell you why you should choose us. Uh, here at Jenkins, um, we've been here a long time. We've been, I've been personally doing taxes since 2001. So we're not a fly by night. We're gonna be here a while. And any tax preparer that you go to are gonna ask you basic questions when you first get there. The first question they're going to ask you is what's your social security number? The second question they're gonna ask you is what's your name? They're, they're gonna ask you your date of birth. Then they're going to ask you your spouse's social security number, your spouse's legal name, your spouse's date of birth. Then they're gonna ask you what your address is. Then they're gonna ask you what your children's legal names are, what their social security numbers are, what their date of births are. Now, if you're like me, I've heard a lot of stuff recently about identity theft and, and protecting your data and making sure the wrong person doesn't get that data. But if you're going to these places um, to do your taxes that are fly by night, they weren't there last year, they're new this year, or maybe they are there, but they're only open certain days of the week, the rest of the year, and the people who are working there are always new and they're always different. They're not the same people that you're going back to repeatedly. Or if you're using an online service and you don't know who that online service is really being administered by, um, maybe you're just choosing them because of price versus nothing else, then are you protecting your data? Are you protecting your kids' social security numbers? It could be years before you realize that there's a problem and a data breach. As accountants, we have all that information on you. We are a data mind for someone who wants to take your financial security and steal your identity. Don't give your information to someone that you wouldn't trust to hand. Think about what you're doing when you go there. You're handing over all that information. It's extremely important to pay attention to what kind of places that you're going to. Um, here, we've been here a long time, like I said. Uh, I'm from here, my husband's from this area. We're not leaving, we're not going anywhere. We're here all year long, every week. Uh, if the problem does come up, we're gonna be here to solve it. When you bring your data in and you give it to us, a CPA is going to review it before it's filed on every single return. Every single one of our preparers is either a CPA, an EA, or an AFSP. Every single person who prepares your return will be one of those things. That's important to me and to our firm because that means they've had to go through some continuing education. Tax laws change all the time. No one can know all of the rules and nobody can stay up on them without doing continuing education. You just can't do it. There's too many, there's too many things going on. So here we insist that everybody have at least the minimal amount of training that are required to have some sort of certification because you do not have to be certified to do people's taxes for money. You do have to be certified in the state of Missouri to cut someone's hair, but you do not have to be certified to do their taxes. So pay attention. It's up to you to, to pick responsibly and to choose the person who is going to be the best protector of your data. When you come in our office, what happens? is we look for what you're not giving us. You hand us your stack of information, your W-2s or your expenses for your business or all the information about your children and daycare and all those things. And then we look at what you didn't get. We're asking you questions on what's missing. We're filling in those holes. It's like doing a puzzle whenever you're trying to put a puzzle together and you have the picture on the box, which we have, or you don't have the picture on the box, which if you're not familiar with doing your own taxes or the person you're using is, is not familiar with taxes fluently, then you're working without that picture. So you don't know what the missing pieces look like. You don't know what to ask for. Here, that's what we do do we do it all year long and so we're asking for those pieces we're going to find things that maybe you didn't know about we're going to question things maybe other preparers haven't questioned we're going to ask a lot of questions but that's good for you because what we want is for you to take advantage advantage of every tax law out there we want you to pay the most correct amount of tax we want you to get the most correct refund available to you in order to do that we're going to ask you lots and lots and lots of questions we're going to look back at your previous returns and see what's happened in the past 
we want five years of past taxes because of credit carry forwards and different things that, that we need to look for on there. If we don't have that, that's fine. We can do it without it, uh, but it is much better if we do have it. We can look for maybe some things that were missing out of the previous returns, but more than that, we're really looking for what are we carrying forward to this year. And if you have some carryover items and your preparer is not asking for your previous returns, that means those get lost and you don't get the benefit of that. And it's gone forever unless someone looks back further than, than the year that the preparer didn't do it. So it, it's really important for you to bring in those um, past years. Like I said, we can do it without it, but it'd be much more beneficial for you if you had them. Now, when you come in and you bring us that information, what's it gonna cost, right? As a CPA, we're certified, we do all the extra training, we're here all year. It's probably gonna cost a lot more to have, your CP, to have a CPA look at your return, right? It's not actually, I've been doing this for years. I've seen all those returns come in. We're usually about half of those big box stores and we're usually a little less expensive than your other preparers that aren't certified. So as odd as it seems, the better the service, the less the price. So if you like what I had to say, come in and check us out. We can do free consultations if necessary, but we really hope that you give us an opportunity to show you what an experience it can be to do your tax return with someone who knows and likes what they're doing. Heather with Jenkins CPA. Think outside the block in your money, business, and life.